Hey guys, it's it's Tvex, and today we're playing Dead by Daylight on Yamaoka Estate. Oh my god. So, you'll notice something different in my survival game. As you see, I'm no longer running self-care. So, this video will always... Uh, will always, yeah, no. Never mind. Will also be uh, a video that I'll talk about perks in Dead by Daylight. So... Uh, I wanna see if um, self-care is mandatory, if you really need it, uh, if you really need it in your build, if it's a must perk or something. Oh, I was <laughs> thinking for a moment that this was uh, the killer coming. Oh, the killer is coming. Okay. Oh, he grabbed my friend Penguin, or... Yeah, it's his friend Penguin, actually. Let's fix the generator as soon as possible. Okay. Mm. Okay. I think he didn't uh, notice me. I can see his uh, outline. Um, there are times like this that I wish I didn't use sprint burst. Oh, another guy is going to save here. And let's run. So as I was saying, I think that it's not uh, self-care, always uh, speaking for self-care, is not really needed uh, survivor side, it's not a really needed perk. Uh, come here, Meg, uh, Fang, no, okay. So yeah, it's not a survivor perk that is really needed, because most of the times, let's say you're going, oh, he's here. Let's say you're going to use it, what, uh, two times, three times max in a game. No more than that. What? How did he get here? Oh my god. Yeah, get your son, babe. How did he get here? He was like... Uh... Ow, he actually jumped off the cliff or something. Okay, lost me as it seems. Yeah, tricky bastard. Okay. So. The current state of the game is like three meta perks, one personal preference perk. So the meta perks right now are decisive, borrowed, and an exhaustion perk, maybe head on, balanced landing, uh, sprint burst, uh, dead hard. Uh, most of the times I use dead hard because it's, uh, it's a perk that you press and you just activate it and. Uh, I think it's better than Sprint Burst because Sprint Burst uh, gets triggered as soon as you start sprinting so you can't keep it for a moment that you like. And now for self care, you're going to use it max 2 or 3 uh, times per match. So uh, this instead of carrying uh, a perk that actually resembles uh, an add-on inside the game, an item inside the game. So it's the same as using a medkit. So instead of carrying a medkit, you use self-care. But what if you could use a better perk instead of self-care, like Unbreakable? Now in this meta you actually get slugged a lot. You could use also Iron Will and do not uh, make grants of pain when you're hit by the killer. You could actually use a lot of other perks instead of using this. You could use Adrenaline, you could use a lot of perks, Bond and you could actually find your teammates to heal you or find teammates that you want to heal or cooperate on uh, fixing generators there is actually uh, a lot of stuff that you could uh, do because you need to use three perks okay uh, you need to use borrow time because it can help your teammates uh, you need to use decisive strike because you avoid getting tunneled or even if you get tunneled or uh, just uh, camp you can use it to escape the killer's uh, grasp and there is an exhaustion perk that gives you a little extra time and decisive and borrowed time also do the same they just buy you extra time that's what you want to do as a survivor actually earn some time and with this valuable time you or your survivor friends uh, repair generators so yeah this is what you want to, uh, to do and you want to have one uh, personal preference perk and instead of using self-care you can actually use self-care as your personal preference perk there's nothing uh, wrong with it but what if you could carry an add-on or uh, not an add-on sorry an item instead of uh, 
self-care to heal you and just get a perk. Or you could use self-care and just bring a flashlight or something. If you're a flashlight uh, survivor guy. Or just bring no uh, item uh, and get one in the game. But no self-care as well. You could actually just avoid getting hit without prison or find a survivor to heal you. And just leave a slot open for a perk like Unbreakable, Adrenaline, Iron Will. There are a lot of perks that you could use instead of self-care. So yeah, I think that self-care is not needed uh, uh, in order to play the survival. Because actually, when I was playing on PC, I was using um, self-care in almost any survivor. The first uh, survivor that I leveled up was... Uh, Mm, Claudette in order to get it, but here I said mm, let's just try without self-care, let's level up Nia and I leveled up Nia, I got her balanced landing perk and I leveled up Nia, oh no he got caught, that's not great I'll try to save you Ace no no. No. Yay! It's work. Okay, the body block worked. That was nice. All right, he actually is not chasing me. Now I need to heal. All right, let's heal. But I need to heal fast before he comes here. Oh, he got him. That's not great. So yeah, I just uh, finished uh, talking and there's nothing else to say about the perks. But now about the uh, new changes to Ruin Nerf. Actually, there was a nerf that wasn't needed. I'm playing both the Survivor and Killer and I really assure you this nerf wasn't needed. And why it wasn't needed? Because you can actually uh, play it out. Let me get the hit for you. Let me get the hit for you. Let me get the hit for you. Come on. Where did he go? Yay! We both escaped. Yeehaw! Okay. So this game was pretty quick again. So from the next video and on, I'll uh, mostly be playing as survivor whenever possible because uh, I kind of like survivor more got a little board of killer and yeah as I was saying the nerf wasn't needed and why was it wasn't needed because as a good survivor you could just find the totem and get rid of it and that bought some extra time uh, for the killer to actually catch up you know or you could actually play it uh, without even destroying the totem if you're a good survivor and you're good with skill checks there wasn't uh, a need for the nerf because now most of the, the killers are just they just switched uh, from killer to survivor and the queues for survivors are extensively long and that's why I actually started playing killer uh, and I started maining uh, him so yeah that was the video for today I w I'm a little mad about the current state of the game and I'll see you in the next game uh, no the next game the next video but with a different game so thanks a lot for watching, subscribe if you liked the video and like the video of course, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.